So I just want to know what are the mm. difficulties of being a founder? Because it must be so hard. I, I can't mean, imagine. I mean, you answered it with your question by saying alone. So that's yeah. the first. I mean, but firstly, before going to that, I would like to preface that, um, especially with what's going on at the moment, mm. I am just massively um, grateful to be even doing what I enjoy and doing yeah. what I love, despite it being difficult at times. You've just got to look around what's going on in Europe, especially right now. And I'm not going to go into it, but I just want to say before I complain about anything, I am extremely grateful for what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say that the the number one thing that you've got to be aware of and being aware is the key, I think, in most things, being self-aware and aware of your surroundings. But um, those those lonely lonely nights and lonely yeah. days that you get, because sometimes if you, if you are a, a sole founder, mm-hmm. you know, you've got to make decisions on your own. Yeah, and there's there's no one else. I've, I've got a very good supportive network as well, which helps. Mm-hmm. Um, my my dad's been my mentor since I started, and probably yes, will. Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully one day I'll get him on here when he's a bit more confident from the camera. He's yeah. he's far better looking than me, so I might have to blur ah. his face out a bit. But um, <laughs> I'm sure, he'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's um, you know, you've just got to be prepared for a lonely road at times. Okay, um, so that's like in terms of you, you know, that's the obstacles you had to like face when you were on your journey alone as a founder, but in terms of the company itself, what is the biggest obstacle that FCK had to face? I mean, some some would probably say that um, there, there, there hasn't been many on the outside mm. because obviously you don't shout about everything on social media, at least I, I don't. Um, we, we did have a two-year uh, legal battle in the States to get our name trademarked. So for me, obviously having the brand, my focus has always been, you know, we need to get trademarked first, then we can create the brand. Yeah. So we got the UK one done. Boom, fantastic, sorted. US one we went to do, and we're posting all on social media about our product, and we're getting followers from America download. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we need to get this done. And anyway, yeah. it, it dragged out for two years because... Two years? Yeah, two years. Two years, that's a long time. A lot can get done in two years. I mean, thankfully, it was in very good hands. Okay. The, the legal group that we're working with are, are very reliable. Um, okay. I don't know if I can mention their name, but they were extremely reliable, and I'd recommend them to anyone. But, you know... Um, yeah, two years later, we finally got a US trademark, and it turned out that a, a big corp that, again, I won't name drop yet, um, was was holding up our trademark process. Maybe because our name sounded a bit similar to theirs, who knows? That might tell you everything. Uh, 